I seriously cannot get over how amazing this is. Oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. You guys are so creative. rainbows and welcome back to another video so this video is a little bit spontaneous but I decided to show off some of the castles and palaces that my viewers have built and all of these are so amazing I think you guys are really going to like them all of the builds that I chose today are obviously castles and palaces for the most part they do not have custom content any of the ones that I did choose with custom content are only like the doors or the windows and they got replaced very easily so I didn't choose anything that would have just been completely bare if you downloaded it. I also chose builds that were originally made by the creator that they're from, so I didn't choose anything that was just a remodel of someone else's build, basically. This is not the only time that I will be doing a video like this. I'm sure I'll be showing other videos of sharing your guys' builds or your sims or something like that, so if you are interested and want to build something and want to show me it, then you can use the hashtag MiraRayTownies for any sims that you guys create and you can use the hashtag these buildings didn't use this hashtag they usually use mira ray or hashtag mira ray royals but you guys can use the hashtag mira ray builds if you want to show me your castles or palaces or something like that so that information will be in the description below you can find all the information about everything that i'm showing you in this video in the description below so if you're so excited to see all of these builds then make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already ready and let's go ahead and take a look at these palaces. So I did also borrow some of your guys' sims that I saw in the gallery under the hashtag MiraRayTownies that didn't have any custom content because I didn't want them to like show up bald when I downloaded them. So I will also give you guys credit too. But the first palace I am showing you guys today is by Lord Crumps and this is his version of the Windenburg Palace. It is is amazing. They reached out to me on Twitter to share this with me and there's no custom content at all in this so you can very easily find this build. Their brother actually used to work in Buckingham Palace so a lot of it is based off of that because apparently there's no pictures of Buckingham Palace on the internet so or at least like no recent pictures so they used to work there so they based a lot of it off of that which is so so cool and it's beautiful. It's amazing. This palace is so awesome so we're gonna go ahead and just jump into it. I will share also the sims that I borrowed for this too. So the sims that I borrowed is the Arlen family by Tori OV25. So they have like a little backstory with them too. Okay, so I mean, this is the exterior. It's absolutely incredible. There's so much detail and like levels to it too. It's so amazing. That was the front of it. This is the back. So as you guys can see, there's like a little courtyard in the center here. So I'm just going to start from the, actually let's start from the main level. So here we have the main entrance and it looks like right away there's some stairs right over here and then there's a doorway to get to the next room. So this room right here I believe is the tea room which is what I think he said because I, I need to have a room like this in all of my palaces <laughs> because it's so common for them to have like high tea or just a tea party or just get together with friends and have tea. So it'd be good to have a designated room for that and as you can see there's a place here to have like tea sandwiches and biscuits and there's a little tea set right here. So that's the tea room. And then here we have the little family room area with a TV. I'm not gonna get too detailed because I do have a lot of castles to show you guys. And then here we have, oh, it's a music room. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, they have a little music room where you can hold small concerts and stuff. We have the library and study. And then I don't, oh yeah, that's just like a little sitting area. It looks like we have a chess room, of course, because Royals love playing chess apparently. And then here we have the throne room, which is so cool. And a few of them actually have like a setting like this where it's like the throne is on the upper level. And then down here is like the seating and everything. So, oh my God, this is so, so cool, you guys. This looks awesome. I definitely know that another palace has this too. Here we have a little game room and then like a dining room and stuff too. And then a little sitting area over here and then a study. So that's the main ball or not the main ballroom, the main level. And then up here is where we have most of the bedrooms and you can actually see up here. Oh, it looks like I need to replace some of the wallpaper, but you can see down into the throne room area, which is so cool. That's so cool to me. So for the most part, it's just bedrooms up here. We have like a little pink one up here. Every single bedroom 
has its own bathroom and like little seating dressing area. Like every single one of the rooms have that, which is so cool. I'm assuming this one, I, well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess this would be the main room. I don't know. I don't know if there's like a master bedroom in this, but every single one of here, it's like a bedroom and a bathroom and a little seating area. Up here, it looks like we have like a little display room. And then we have either servants quarters, I'm assuming, or like kids bedrooms. But I'm assuming this is mostly for the staff is up here. And then this room is cool. So it's a little library, but then there's a little loft and some stairs here that lead up to the study area here as well. So I'm assuming that might be the monarch's office. So those are all the upper levels. And then down here we have a crypt. So this is the royal crypt. Theirs is so much bigger than mine. Oh my gosh. We also have a photo room too. I definitely need a photo room in all of my castles. We have a spa. I love putting spas in castles as well. Just like a place for the monarchs and all the royals to relax and everything. So I'm assuming here would be past monarchs. And then this must just be like other extended family. And then in the middle here, they have a little courtyard too. But yeah, this palace is gorgeous, you guys. So again, this is from Lord Crump's. You can, oh, it looks like I don't have the wallpaper that they use, but you can easily replace that. So yeah, this you guys can find in the gallery, the information of it. This is castle number one. So all the information to download and to find it in the gallery is in the description below. Thank you to our little family that we borrowed here too, so I could show this to you guys. So palace number two is by one of my patrons and her name is Lily. She actually is the one who built our Willow Creek Royal Palace in our Royal Family series, or the new one anyway. Her name is Lily, but her gallery ID is, oh gosh, sorry. It is UF. O S A nine six. You guys can find her amazing builds in the gallery. So this one, it does say that there's custom content, but I am pretty sure that it's only the doors that are custom content. So you could easily download it and nothing really is gonna go missing at all. Family that I'm borrowing is the Evans family townies. Oh, also by Tori zero V 25. So I borrowed their townies just to show you guys this amazing palace. Look at this, you guys. I actually, I think I'm gonna replace the Oasis Springs palace with this because this is amazing. It's insane. This is so cool. Yeah, I think I've officially decided that I am going to be replacing the Oasis Springs Royal Palace with this one. I seriously cannot get over how amazing this is. Okay, sorry, I'll jump into the tour. So you enter these amazing staircases. Oh my gosh. And then here we have, oh, this is cool. I'm assuming this is just like the throne room. So as soon as you walk in, this would be the throne. This is a portrait of her previous queen. Oh my gosh. And then there's just bars of gold here, but it seriously looks like this palace was just made out of gold. So then here, oh, okay. So this is the little queen's study. And then here we have a piano and the dining room. Oh, this is amazing. And it's also uniform because it's all like white and gold. I would probably add, because I have some really great furniture that I love from the Oasis Springs Palace, like my current one in the Royal Family series. So I'll probably still add some of that when I download this, but I definitely think this is going to be the new Oasis Springs Palace. But yeah, we have a dining room and then a kitchen and then the little sitting room over here and then an outdoor patio. On the next level, we've got bedrooms, this gigantic bedroom. I'm assuming this is the, actually they're all gigantic, so I'm not sure, but this could be the queen's. So we got this bedroom here and then another one here and then some bathrooms. Looks like this is the nursery. So we have all of the little bassinets and then some toddler beds and then some toys as well. This one, oh, this, you know what? This must be the monarch's bedroom, I'm assuming, but that looks really, really cool. So then this would be Queen Nea and Prince Consort Philip's bedroom then, but I'm probably going to move in the furniture that I have from my current Oasis Springs Palace because I really like their bedroom furniture. And then next on the last level or the third level, the top level, we have another bedroom here. And then we have just like a lot of bookshelves. And oh, you know what? Maybe this is the monarch's bedroom. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But then we have like a piano here on the balcony. I mean, this view is amazing. They could literally just come out here and then just like look at the entire Oasis Springs kingdom. That's so cool. In case you're wondering, I am playing from a different save file 
file, so I don't actually have any of the build. Like this is all the builds that come when you first download the Sims game, not any of like the builds that I have in my Royal Family series. If you're confused and are just watching this video for the first time and have never watched any of my other videos, I have a Royal Family series, so I'll link that below if you wanna check that out. And then on the very top here, we just have like a bunch of rocks, but it looks so cool. So that is the Oasis Springs Palace by Lily. Oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. You guys are so talented. I could never do any of this from scratch. So I am in Willow Creek for the next one. This is castle number three. And uh, unfortunately it looks a little cloudy, so it is a little bit dark, but hopefully you guys are still able to see okay. This palace is Palacio de Medina by D-I-G-U-I-X. And then the townie that I borrowed is called King Henry the Fourth Mistress. So this one is by FSMCM2005. Sorry, yeah, I don't think King Henry's going to be having any mistresses in my royal family series, but at least she will be in this video to show off this castle that apparently she's living in for the moment. This is a huge castle for one person. So this castle, I don't think it's completely, actually maybe it is. I wasn't sure if it was completely finished just because of this room here, but it kind of looks like this room is a stable, which is so cool. And it just makes me want to have horses in The Sims 4 because, oh my gosh, I would make those royals ride horses like all day long. But they have a courtyard here and then a little library study. They have an indoor pool. That's one thing I forgot to put in the Windenburg Palace was a pool, so I gotta do that. We have a lot of books and libraries, which is cool. This looks like a little smaller room, so I'm not sure if this is for the staff, but that's really cool. And then on the second floor, oh, this is the little banquet hall. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, oh my gosh. It looks like I did not, like I don't have the wallpaper that they used or something, but this is amazing. I need to make my banquet hall look like this. And then it looks like we have a little party room here with a piano and stuff. And then on the upper level, we have all the bedrooms. It looks like we have like a little smaller dining area here. So that's kind of cool. This is cool. This is like a little garden, but like on the third floor of their castle. And then here we have one of the grander bedrooms. Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry. I didn't have any of their wallpaper apparently. So it looks like the walls are all bare. We have a little study area here and then another bedroom over here and then a few bedrooms here with like a really nice closet too and it doesn't look like they have a basement so that is it for this one but oh my gosh you guys this looks awesome I love how like the windows of a palace just make it look really really grand and I'm not sure why that is but it's really cool so the next palace we have is the tropical palace by Lord Crumbs so it's another one by Lord Crumbs because he did the number one palace too I've lost count at where we are though so I'm sorry about that but they will all be listed below oh the family that I used is one of the same families, the Evans family that I showed you guys before. There was only five Sim families that didn't have custom content. So there's six palaces and five Sim families. So I had to kind of just like double them. But this is the first floor of the Tropico Palace. So it has a little sauna here. This one's a little bit different. I tried to choose some that were a little bit different and not just like English style, but you guys still might see some that are a little bit similar. Then we have the bathrooms here and the little family room. This is a smaller size palace, but I like that I like having the variety here we have a dining room and then the kitchen is over here and then a little entertainment area and then a study and then they have the oh gosh this is cool they have the pool and the hot tub over here and it's looking out onto the hills of Del Sol Valley and then if you go on to the second floor we have our bedrooms here oh my gosh oh it looks like there's a pool on the third floor that's awesome okay we'll get there soon and then we have a few bathrooms here and then it looks like two other bedrooms bedrooms are, oh no, sorry, three bedrooms are upstairs as well. And then on the third floor, we have our little patio area and then a game area and then a bar over here. Here we have an outdoor patio area with a pool. This is awesome. They could like entertain and throw parties out here too. It doesn't look like there is a basement level. So that is it for this one, but this is a little bit more tropical. I feel like you could even have this in Oasis Springs or maybe even Sulani if you wanted to, but this is definitely a cool one. And oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot about the city that you can see here. I don't have Del Sol Valley as a kingdom in my royal family series because I have Princess Anna when she was younger. She pursued acting, which was very random, I feel like, in the royal family series, but I just wanted to use the Get Famous.
famous pack. So I have two more palaces to show you all. This one is the Royal Blue Palace Castle by Neko-chan Gora Gora. So this is, her name is Nora. She's actually also one of my patrons. But we can start here. So this is the entrance and then you go up these stairs, which is really cool. I like the way that this is laid out. We have our foyer here and I love all the paintings and the tapestry and everything. This right here, oh, this is cool. Oh, oh, this is gated off too. But then you have to go into this room and then go into here to get to like the stairs and everything. That's so cool. This, these, I, I just love the new stairs that The Sims added to the game because this looks awesome. Oh my gosh, this is the banquet hall you got. I really need to up the game on my banquet hall. This looks awesome. This is so cool. I love the layout of this. If you guys know Bats from Westeros, that's where I get a lot of my custom content for the crowns and stuff. They have a Tumblr and they share pictures of like their royal banquets from their royal family. And it is so beautiful. It's shaped like this usually from what I've seen. So I need to do something like that. I tried, but it didn't look very good. And then they have a ballroom here and then a piano in here as well. Oh, okay. And then this is, well, it looks like here, this is like the little family room area. And then this is their throne room you got. This is so cool. I love when you guys do this. This is awesome. So that's their throne room. That's the first floor. Then on the second floor, oh my gosh. Okay, so they have the balcony area where you can look up into the throne room too. You guys are so creative, but I just love that you can look down from the balcony and then into the little throne room and see the monarchs and the king and queen. So like the children, if they have to go to bed or something or if they're not to interfere, they can like still peek in on their parents. This palace definitely has a red theme, like red and gold, and it looks so cool. Here we have the library. That's a huge library. And then we have desks and computers and stuff too. I'm sorry if I'm like missing some of this, but you guys can definitely check out these in the gallery and take a look at yourself. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like speeding through it a little bit. And then here we have a spa, like a little massage area and a sauna and then a gym. And then on the next floor, we have all of our bedrooms. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this one, this room looks so cool. It's like very dark too. That looks awesome. So this bedroom has this little closet area, but like a huge dressing walk-in closet where you can try on a bunch of royal outfits. And then here we have the bedroom as well. And then this is just the hall. I should have done this with all of the castles and stuff, but this is the hallway. This is so cool. And then this is that red bedroom that I think you guys saw too. This is just like a totally different view. I cannot do this with all of the rooms, but just so you guys can see. Oh, this is the master bedroom. <gasps> oh, this is pretty. Yeah, this is the master bedroom or not. Sorry, not a master bedroom, the master bathroom. This is the kids room over here here and then we have another room over here so that's all the upper floors and then on the bottom floor here we have the servants quarters which is I just I have the same thing in my palace it's just so cool to have an area where like your staff can sleep and usually where the kitchen is too I don't usually mind if the kitchen's on the bottom floor or if it's on the main floor but yeah so this palace is amazing again this is by Neko Chan Gora Gora which you can find or you can find that information to download and all of her gallery ID information in the video description below. The last palace I'm showing you is the Castle French Style by Mina Bishi, who is also one of my patrons. The family that I'm using is the D. Sal the D. Salnor family? I think that's what their name is. It's the D. Salnor family who is actually in my Sim Self Legacy Challenge series, but they are by Scottish Queen 11. This one, I actually just put that blue wallpaper on because for some reason the wallpaper didn't download to my game, but this one reminds Reminds me of like a little French mansion castle sort of thing and like Beauty and the Beast or something like that. It's so cute. So this was a little bit more on the smaller side and it looks very historical too. It's so pretty. So this is the main floor. This is the end. Oh gosh, this is cool. This is the entrance and this is the throne room. And then here we have the dining room. Oh, whoa. The gold chairs with the white and the glass tables looks really pretty. But yeah, this is the dining room area. And then in here we have the kitchen, which leads directly into the dining room. Then we have some bathrooms back here at, or back here. And then here, it looks like this is the butler's room. Oh, and then they have a tea room too. I really need to do a tea room. Oh my gosh. And then there's a photo studio. This is great. I love this. There's a photo studio and a portrait room here too. And then here we have a little kids area. This is awesome. When you go on the second level, we have all of our bedrooms. So it looks like this is a little family area. And then we have the nursery. And then here we have, oh, this is so cute. They have the little bedrooms like in the little, 
little towers, the circular towers. I don't actually know if those have a name. I'm assuming they do. And then another bedroom here. And then here we have the study and library area. And then this is a really nice bathroom. So here are like the royal bathrooms. And then I'm assuming this is the monarch's bedroom, but this is really cool because they have like the little dressing area where you can stand and try on clothes and stuff. So this palace is two stories and then it has a basement level too, which has a crypt area. So they haven't put any urns or anything, but like this is good for if you're starting your royal family, you can put all the urns and stuff here. And then we have a little spa area too. And then this is a jail. They have a jail down here. But again, that is Castle French Style by Mina Bishi. So yeah, guys, so that is all of the palaces I wanted to show you today. Definitely make sure you check out all of them in the gallery because they are so awesome and they're so talented and they're perfect for if you're looking for some palaces to download for your royals. I'm sure I'll do another video like this in the future. So feel free to share your builds and your sims by using the hashtags. I listed it in the description below. If you enjoyed this and you want me to do more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button or comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.